This next story was sent in by Starkey. It's titled Hospice Haunt. A few years ago, I worked at a nursing home as a certified nursing assistant and had a couple of encounters here and there, but nothing prepared me for everything that happened when I worked at a hospice. For those unfamiliar with exactly what a hospice is, it is essentially a place where people who have a terminal illness can spend their final days before they die. People that are sick certainly don't have a lot of time and a hospice enables them to die in a more dignified manner than within the busy hospital. The facility I worked for was amazing. I can post a little more about my different experiences at the hospice if anybody's interested. The point is, a lot, and I mean a lot, of people passed away in this building, particularly during my shift, which normally ran from 7am to 7pm. I had this habit of opening the window of a resident's room after he or she passed away. It was simply my way of freeing the spirit so they wouldn't be trapped. No one else did this, unfortunately. But on to my story. The hospice was divided into two wings, and each wing had a huge linen closet. Tons of sheets, blankets, comforters, towels, washcloths and gowns were strewn in each space. Upon entering, you would have first noticed walls lined with racks filled with linen. I can still picture it. When you walk down into the room a couple of hundred feet and turn to the right, there's a little area where extra stuff is stored, such as items for bed baths and either hygiene implements for the residents. You're completely hidden from view when you are in this particular area on the right. One day, a resident woke up around midnight and requested to get cleaned up, so I thought it'd be best to give them a bed bath. I went into the linen closet and headed to the area on the right and grabbed soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, a little basin and other things. At this point, I heard the linen closet door open and close. We normally have one nursing assistant and a registered nurse on each wing during the night shift. I figured it was the nurse or the nursing assistant for the other wing, as we sometimes approach each other if we needed help. I then heard the high-pitched dulcet tones of a female voice, but I could not make up what she said. Hello? I'm just grabbing stuff for a bath. Do you need help? I answered, figuring it was a nurse. I then heard the voice answer clearly. I'm so cold. I can bring you a blanket. Maybe I'll throw it into the dryer again like last week, I remarked. I turned around and headed back to walk down the main area of the lizard closet. I was expecting to see someone else, but no one was there. I didn't hear the door open, so no one left and there just wasn't any place to hide. I then felt someone grab my shoulder, taken by surprise. I screamed and dropped everything as I spun around, but nobody was there. I ran out of the closet as fast as lightning. I tried to tell the nurse on duty, but I was not making any sense at all until I took a deep breath and finally calmed down. She stuck by my side for the rest of the night, and I didn't go back into the linen closet for the rest of my shift. When the invisible hands grabbed me on my bare skin, it was icily cold. I shivered at the thought that it was the clammy touch of someone no longer living. <laughs>